So today I'm going to restring this guitar and give these uh, bridge saddles a bit of a clean. It's been a long time, they deserve it. I would sometimes just cut the strings off, but um, I prefer to do it this way. Okay, so today I'm going to do a little bit of a cleaning on these saddles because there's a lot of gunk built up underneath. So I'm going to take them off and see what we can find. But before I take them off, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a photo of their position. So then I have, when I put them back on, I have a rough idea of how they look. Obviously I know the saddle height is okay because I've just been playing this guitar. So let's uh, take them off and uh, see what we got underneath. Okay, so just grab your screwdriver and uh, start undoing the undoing the screws. These saddles have been on the guitar since I bought it about 10 years ago and I haven't removed them at all. So, right, another thing to do, right, is put these saddles together. So you can screw this back in a little, yeah? Um, what you wanna do is put them in some kind of order. So when you take them off, yeah, put them somewhere where, in the, where they're in the same order. That way, if you uh, put them in the same order, you know, you know which saddle is which, so you know the height will match. There's quite a lot of gunk and stuff built up under here, you know. I may even take that plate off and see what's underneath. mess on that. It's bloody horrible. I'm gonna go ahead now and take these screws. I'm gonna unscrew this here. Hey, now this should, in theory, slide right out. So look at all the dirt under there. Look at all the grime underneath this. Okay, so we're gonna start by giving this a wash. Give it a little spray. Give it a little spritz. So much cleaner already, my god. So there we have it. But there's a bit of rust on here. Let's see if we can get that rust off. I'm not holding out too much hope, but let's give it a try. Here we are, practically off. Well, there we go, look at that. So the next part, we're gonna give this a blast. So we're gonna give this plate a little clean. Okay, it's got an endless amount of gunk on it. So give it a little spray over first. So that's come up very well already. Jesus Christ. That's 
come up well. Really? Let's turn him round. Let's give the back a good, a nice, a nice buffer as well. Okay. I'm gonna go again now with a metal polish. This won't need a lot because it's already extremely clean, but there's a few little rust spots on it, which I think maybe I could get off. Actually, they don't seem so much like rust spots as opposed to actual marks from where the saddle have been connecting with the guitar. But it's okay, still a, but it's still a dramatic improvement from earlier. Look at that. Obviously the underside we won't see, but still. Still have to treat it well, you know. And yeah, as you can see, there's no marks on the underside of this, uh, of the underside of this bridge. It's quite clean as it is. Gonna buff it up now. If we look at that, look at that. You can see a face in there. Okay, well let's get this back on the guitar. And don't forget, we can also give the screw heads, screw heads a little buff as well. It'd be a pity to do all that work and have these stinking screws in there. So what I can see here, I can see that we've missed a bit in the corner here and it's really bugging me because it's hard to get to. If you just use your screwdriver, use your screwdriver with a bit of cloth, get as far into that crack and the same goes for the line across here. My God, how good does that look? Wow. Okay. So now it's time to put the saddles on. Hopefully you kept them in order. And um, before we do, we're gonna give them a polish on the top and underneath on the side. And actually these saddles have, these saddles have seen quite a lot of damage. Like, quite rusty on the top and I think without changing them completely you're not gonna get rid of that so I'm just gonna buff them up and shine them up as much as possible I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put them on roughly for the time being and then after I get them all on I line them up as per the photo on my phone the thing is every guitar saddle is different know how you've set the neck up and depending on how your truss rod is sitting it's going to affect your saddle height saddle length etc so after I put all these on after I put all these on I'm gonna to have to let the um, I'll, I'll let them settle for a little while I'll have a guess about where they should sit and then I'll put the strings on, tune them up to tension and then I'll leave them for a while. I'll go to the gym and then I'll come back and I'll finish, finish the job after the gym. Sure, look at that saddle. That one come up beautiful. The thing is these saddles are pretty cheap so if you really, really wanted to get the guitar back to, you know, original condition, you could just replace the saddles. They're not, they're not expensive. Just one more. To be honest, the next time I do this, I'm gonna get new, new, 
at least new screws. So this is what we have so far. It's looking 100 million times better than it did this morning. I hope you can see that on the camera. Um, right now, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my phone. So I'm gonna have a look at the picture I took of the saddles and try and line them up accordingly. So I'm going to leave that for the time being and when I come back I'm going to put new strings on. Okay, so it's all in tune. We have a few rattles, so we need to sort those out. Okay, so he's in tune, great. Right, now let's check out the intonation. So, let's start with this, uh, with this high E string. So, play the E. Actually, the intonation is pretty perfect there. Oh, well, that's one done. Okay, now you can see that it's slightly sharp. So you can see it's a bit sharp at the 12th fret. So what we would do now is we would turn this saddle anti-clockwise to give it some... So now we need to retune it. And give it another try. It's close up. definitely closer so it could come a bit more Let's take it a bit more and we'll retune okay I'm happy with that for the time being that is the B string here we go G let's give that a tune and in this instance the G is a bit flat, so we need to bring this closer to the bridge. Still flat, so it needs to come a bit more. Better. Okay, let's get down for now when we go on to the D string. Okay, he's a bit flat as well. Bring him in a touch. Still a bit flat. That's not bad. I'll be okay with that. Tiny bit flat. Much better. Well, the two E-strings are perfect every time, so that's okay, I'm happy with that, right. Now let's try again. So, that is the finished product. Look how much cleaner that is than before, my god. It's like a new guitar. <laughs>